Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Cabo. We can see land for the first time since Saturday. Days, days. Days at sea. You know, this has been more fun though. Yeah, I can tell the difference between a carnival ship and a, a princess ship, what they can offer for if they if there is unplanned sea days. Mm -hmm. I haven't been bored at all. Yeah. I haven't even had time to work on any vlogs. I thought I would have time to. We brought the computer and mm -hmm. it's just been like trivia, trivia, trivia game, trivia, trivia. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's one thing. It sucks that we missed our ports, but mm -hmm. at least they've kept us entertained. They've yes. added shows and they did a free bingo that we didn't participate in because yeah. we were too lazy to come get our card. But, so just if you guys miss some ports, you may get free bingo chances. Yeah, I didn't and know I that. In three different places, so everyone could play. It was, they, yeah. they did a good job. Yeah, it was good. Um, we met the cruise director yesterday. I don't mm -hmm. think we talked, we met him in the stairwell and, and he was very nice. Mm -hmm. He was like, why? Because he asked us if we played the bingo. We told him no. We told him we were playing Hogs Wild. You know, guys, I just love Hogs Wild. I, I'm going to start playing it at parties. Oh, yeah. I think people would like it. I think it's fun. Anyways, so we are up this morning. We're going to go walk around on the, the walking track so that we can see land. Yeah. <laughs> and um, see what's going on. I think they should have been getting off around now. I think it's around 630. Mm -hmm. so people should be trying to get off now. And we know it's going to be crowded because... The yeah, we don't have port. an excursion plan. That's the only port. Um, we have like a tentative idea that we might do one of the glass bottom boats mm -hmm. and go around Lover's Beach and the Arches and then come back and then do our own taco tour. So that's what our plan is today. So we're going to go look and we'll show you guys Cabo. Yeah. Yeah. This is our first time in Cabo. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. All right. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're losing. Sunrise. So we are here with the Celebrity Eclipse. You know what? When we were looking at cruises, that was one of the other options we were thinking about. And I bet we would have made more of our ports on that ship. Yeah, they, they, they did not have the issues that we had. So here is the little arch beach thing that's pretty popular here. It's on a lot of the cruising excursions. You see all the little boats and stuff around there showing the people this little feature of Cabo. So something I, we have forgot to mention before that I think a lot of first time cruisers don't know is that when you're getting ready to get off the ship, they're gonna tell you to go to deck zero and they're gonna give you a, a gangway location. They're gonna be forward or aft. So then what you do from that is you go to deck one and then you're gonna have to go there and go down the stairs. Now, if you have mobility issues, you can find a crew member and they'll be able to assist you with getting to deck zero. Uh, but just keep that in mind because a lot of people have been confused this morning on how to get to deck zero. So mm -hmm. if you have no mobility challenges, you'll just go to one, go the direction of whatever they say it, it is, mm -hmm. and then you will take the stairs down. So yes. just keep that in mind. All right, we're gonna go explore some more. Hey guys, so just so you are aware, um, right next to the bar on the Serenity Deck, if you can't tell by the bluish chairs, um, there's a salad bar over here that you can do. It's kind of make your own salad, kind of like a salada or a salad to go type place. So, so you guys are aware, Fresh Creations. So just look up Fresh Creations on your hub app. And then they'll have like little, all the veggies, different types of lettuce there. And you can get your, get your little salad to eat up here on the Serenity Deck. So yeah, just want to let you guys know of another food option that's available. So you guys probably can't see too well, but I think that's a Disney ship out there. 
sorry it's so jumpy it's it zoomed in as much as it can be um, so yeah so we're gonna have three ships here today so this is a lot uh, calmer looking than it was just a second ago yeah we went ahead and took our bonine cool. just rocking. in case because it was a uh, rocking around if we get on one of those little boats woo I don't know about that this is the the tender to the port and that's a big one that's one of the bigger ones mm -hmm. they're smaller ones we'll show you guys one of the smaller ones when they come around but they they might be done with the smaller ones because those might have been like about excursions i think they've got most of the excursion people off now but since we're on the deck one forward we got a real good view of all the action Okay, so this is our taco tour of it. Kind of wasn't, but the first we went to was Los Orgenes Tacos and Beer. And this place was really good. Like, I would definitely go back. It was still early, so we just did breakfast. So we went ahead and started with a mojito, if you know, you know. And then I got the Verde Chilaquiles, and Will got the De Versados Chilaquiles. And then our friends we were with got the guac. So this, I would say like the rating is really good on this because it was, the food was delicious. The drinks were good. The prices were probably a little bit higher because it was still in the marina area, as you can see where I put the map in. So it was definitely walkable from the cruise ship. So that was super easy. Here, Will is showing you the bathroom at the restaurant because he was documenting whether it was an acceptable bathroom or not for us ladies. Okay, taco tour stop two. Technically stop three, but we went to Los Gardenas and it was super busy and the wait looked like it was going to be forever. We went in there and then no one really talked to us for like 15 or 20 minutes, I want to say. So we just kind of pieced out of there. And then Will and I ran to Walmart and we met our friends over at Cabo Wabo. Now Cabo Wabo is pretty famous from what I understand, as far as like the Cabo scene goes. So we were interested to check it out. It's very much like a bar scene. It's very loud. So if you're sensitive to a lot of loud noises, it might not be the place for you. But we did get some fish tacos there and our friends got some shrimp and the food was actually really good. So it's not just like a hype place. It's actually really good. And then we headed back to the ship because our day was almost over. So guys, we just got to the room after our pretty long day at Cabo, and we got the bunny. He's just sitting here waiting for us to come in. But yeah, we'll tell you more about Cabo in a little bit, but guys, PSA, don't don't get wasted at port and mess with the crew. They're just trying to get you on safely. Yeah. These girls are messy as fuck. There's, I mean, sorry. There's These some girls, girls who are just real messy right now, and 
all I can say is, all I can do is cuss people out and just keep walking. Unfortunately, like, crew's trying to help, trying to get them on ship appropriately, trying to not create a line, a bottleneck, but unfortunately, it happens. So, please watch out for those people because they can be aggressive, they can act out, not be a good person. So, please watch out for those people. Okay, we'll tell you about Cabo later. Bye for now. Alright, so we forgot to film this last night because we were so tired, but we went to Cabo yesterday. So we started out trying to do a taco tour. Mm -hmm. And we made it to our first location, and then we didn't get tacos there because I wanted there, are there. Okay. the Le Arjenal tacos and beer. Mm -hmm. And we got chilaquiles because oh. I always wanted to get chilaquiles in Mexico, mm -hmm. and it was really good. Very, very good. We got it with two eggs mm -hmm. each, and I got the just verde chilaquiles, and he got the de versados, which was half rojo and half verde. Mm -hmm. And then we went, um, we w tried to walk <laughs> to our next location, we kind of got lost in the mall for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then when we finally got to the next location, it wasn't open. It looked like it had had some issues. Power issue from a storm earlier, probably <clears throat> in the past few weeks. Yeah, but Google didn't say it wasn't open. So mm -hmm. then we continued to our next location, um, Las Gardenas, and it was very busy. Mm -hmm. So we went in and we sat down and, you know, we were on a tight time crunch because we had to be back at, back to get on the ship at the the last tender they said would go at 3.30. And it was, we were, it was already one o'clock at this point. Mm -hmm. So we decided to leave that restaurant and then Will and I had to run to Walmart because I forgot to get laundry detergent to wash clothes. And on this cruise, we really only packed enough clothes for five days and then we're gonna wash and then have rewear for the rest of the cruise. So we got some laundry detergent and a couple other things that we were needing. And then we met our friends at Cabo Wabo. Mm -hmm. Now Cabo Wabo is kind of hard to find, and I guess I, in my head, I thought it was on the marina. Yeah, where I thought we were. it was at the port. But so we went, we went behind it, and then got to the marina, and they were like, "Oh wait, it actually says it's up here." So we had to like kind of walk around it. Mm -hmm. But we got there, and we sat down. Our friends had already got there and ordered some drinks, and so we, I, gosh, I guys, I was so nervous because. I'm not, it seems like with tendering, I get really nervous because like of how long it takes. Mm -hmm. So like it took me a few seconds to get kind of relaxed because I was, I was just nervous we were going to be late for the ship. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I did finally get relaxed. <laughs> and then Will and I had, we shared an order of fish tacos. Mm -hmm. They were really good. They were very good. Yeah. So I'm guessing La Gardenia's is really good. And maybe next time we'll just go straight there. Mm -hmm. Cause I didn't realize how busy it would be. Like yeah, almost every table was full yeah. and it seemed like there was like one waitress. So I'm not quite sure yeah, what was, was going on. I felt really bad for her. Cause she was trying her hardest and. It just wasn't working out. So then we had the fish tacos and then we got, we ran <laughs> to catch the tender. Not really mm -hmm. ran, but we walked over there. And got in a huge line. It was so long. Everyone else was also there. We were about an hour. It was this like, time it, it was like over, It was over an hour for us to get on the tender mm -hmm. to get back. So, it was it was almost miserable. <laughs> it was. It I don't want to be pretty, dramatic. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad to wait. Um, I think by the time we got to get on the tender, they were using their double deckers to get us on at like a hundred, hundred fifty at a time because we we're so many people in line. Mm -hmm. And by the time we got to the place where we actually like showed the showed your card to get like through the checkpoint area to get close to the uh, tender boats. Mm -hmm. The line was still where we started yeah. an hour ago, so yeah. it was still They did busy. have the big tenders going, mm -hmm. so that was better, but man. It was busy. It was a very, very busy uh, line, and there's three boats here, and ours were probably four or five times larger than the other two lines. Yeah. Mind you, it, it, they probably left later, because they could, because we probably can't. Yeah, and... The, the the main thing is when you have like a large grouping of people that long 
and then there's some personalities in the line that aren't group it like conducive to group <laughs> events it can make it worse mm -hmm. just like we had some young ladies that were beyond wasted and they were just I don't know it was just made it even more stressful mm -hmm. having to listen to their nonsense so don't be that person don't get so drunk that you're gonna annoy other people and be I she probably doesn't even crew. realize she doesn't even realize she annoyed other people she, that, that's how bad she was anyways just try not try, i know everyone wants to go out and have a good time but you know keep it to a reasonable level yeah, and don't mess with the crew they're just trying to do their jobs yeah. that's what they're here to do yeah don't because that kind of upset me because like the crew's just trying to do what they're supposed to do and then mm -hmm. anyways so then we went to dinner yeah and we went to the main dining room this was only our second time at the main dining room yeah which is a uh, big thing for us we usually always go to the main dining room mm -hmm. but we wanted to try some of the different food offerings and stuff like that so what did you think about the main dining room um tonight i thought i mean yeah tonight last night i thought it was very 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 good i enjoyed all of my options. yeah we had a different weight staff group tonight because yes. we went at a different time and in my opinion they were a little bit more attentive yes and i didn't i, I might have if we would have started with them, maybe I would have wanted we to go more. back more. Not that the like the other weight staff was bad or anything. Yeah. They, it was just, and it might have been the first night too. You know, that mm -hmm. always happens. So I'm not saying anything bad, but the weight staff we had last night was great. Mm -hmm. They're very attentive, very nice. Um, and then what did you have to eat? So I had, for my appetizer, I had the, oh, the beef. No, not beef. Mm -hmm. The um cherry and broccoli soup mm -hmm. that was very very good um and i had the barbecue beef uh spring rolls. spring rolls yeah um those were amazing i like those a lot um then for my entree had the indian uh vegetarian, vegetarian yeah I which we'll, i will we'll put the menu up so you guys can see because we can't remember everything it had but it had the vegetable biryani mm -hmm. and we really like that really really like that and then for dessert i got the banana cream pie I and mean, that was very very good better than where we have the banana cream pie last time at the pig and anchor better than pig and anchor so don't get it from pig and anchor spend money you can just wait until it's available in the main dining room and get it there yeah and, and what'd you have i had the and i don't know if i'm saying it right but gyroid salad oh. which is one of the emerald things it's a it's just a salad with bacon and, and a boiled egg and peppercorn dressing. So I got two of those because to me, the salads for appetizers are kind of small. So I got that and then I got the roasted sirloin and it comes with potatoes and broccoli. And then we got the spaghetti carbonara to share. Mm -hmm. And that was both really good. Mm -hmm. And then for dessert, I got a cheese plate, which was a cheese plate. My favorite cheese on the cheese plate is the Gouda cheese. What's your favorite cheese on the cheese plate? But I would say my meal was like an 8 out of 10 for me. It was pretty good. And that's for cruise ship, cruise ship food, that's, that's pretty, pretty darn good. good. <laughs> what about you? What would you rate yours? 8.5. 8.5 out of 10. So there you go. All right. So then we didn't do anything else. We just came back to the room. Yeah. We watched a little bit of TV, went to sleep. And I think I slept for a full 10 hours. I slept more. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, so we'll tell you about tomorrow, today, in our next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments for us, just leave them down below. Mm -hmm. And please subscribe to our channel. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.